This is Paul on the Plane, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 7 of Faking Space, our image analysis series of the alleged photos we are provided by NASA and the other government space agencies. We continue with the second half of our Faking Space series, Season 2, here that is focusing solely on the Apollo lunar missions, Apollo 11 through 17. The NASA Apollo Journal site has been available for 20 years, some parts as early as 1995. In 2015, NASA released more than 8,400 high-resolution images on Flickr, claiming it was every photo taken by the astronauts during the six moon missions from 1969 to 1972. What you're experiencing here in Season 2 comes as a result of more than 10,000 hours of research pouring over every photo, every video, every mission log, everything available online relating to NASA's alleged six lunar landings. The tireless researcher's name is Mr. Scott Henderson, and he's been gracious enough to share his findings with us all. Here again is a close-up of the Apollo 17 flag, drying from the edges in. What you'll begin to see as you make your way through these Apollo videos is evidence of how the equipment and props were recycled mission after mission on that set and shot over a period of time that resulted in their obvious aging, weathering, and breaking down of many items. So let's continue. The Apollo 15 lamb was dropped during the videoing of its landing and damaged significantly. I've slowed down the video here so you can see the damage the lamb suffers because of this stage mishap. Two damaged PLSs lie on the ground, but only two were supplied for the mission, according to NASA. So by simple deduction here, the astronaut taking the picture undoubtedly must have one on, and the astronaut in the background must also have one on. So in actuality, I guess there were four on Apollo 15. The main strut is not centered on the landing pad as a result of the crash landing and you can see the ball joint has been broken. Secondary struts were broken off. The ball swivel joints had to be replaced. Photographs could not be taken outside of the LEM until the damage was repaired. To avoid this, an S-EVA and two EVAs were done before the flag and photos around the LEM were shown. There were no shots or video of the first steps of the Apollo 15 astronauts on the lunar surface. The photos here are almost shot at the same angle, showing the damage to the exhaust housing that happened as a result of the crash of Apollo 15 on the left. However, the photo on the right is from Apollo 17. It is the same equipment, and the damage has not been repaired. Only the Apollo 15 legs were worked on to lift it off the ground. Okay, back to the PLSSs. You can see the cover is removed. The only function it had was to cool the suit, just the sublimator canisters. On the left is a display model of what should be inside the PLSS. The arrows are pointing to the top, core, and the canister. When the Apollo 15 limb was dropped during the simulated landing, the equipment was damaged, and the rover was broken from its mounts. The exhaust housing was crushed as you can see here. The lowering arms for the rover are broken on the ground, and all the ropes are broken. The rover was damaged as well, as we'll see clearly in the next episode in this series. Note the mold growing on the sewage bag, another example of equipment being recycled for each mission and aging over time. On the lower right of this photo is more damage and broken parts. 
the pink foam above the legs on the flat surface between the descent and ascent modules. The astronauts in their moon suits did not have the ability to get to that location. And considering that the astronauts had been, have not been anywhere near the lab since landing, riding around on the rover for two EVAs, the activity under and around the lab was caused by repair crews, not them. They quickly raked the soil to cover the footprints, and broken parts were thrown under the lab, not even removed from the set. In our next episode, we'll cover the three Apollo missions that included lunar rovers. Did you know hidden within the thousands of photos is evidence that after the Apollo 15 rover was damaged during the simulated landing, it caused there to be two different looking rovers in Apollo 16 and three different looking rovers in Apollo 17. You won't want to miss this. Until next time, this has been Paul on the Plane. On behalf of Mr. Scott Henderson, thanks for watching.